And in this Malaysia travel vlog, we're going to be reviewing our stay on Pahentian Basar Island. The Perentian Islands are a great place to come if you're after a relaxed beachside holiday. So you can just spend your days lounging on a beach chair, admiring the views, going for swims every once in a while, maybe having some snorkeling trips or scuba diving. So if you want to treat yourself to a tropical island getaway, definitely come here. We're at the Brazil Jetty, just waiting for our ferry to take us off to Pahentian Island. So we're going to the larger island, Pahentian Basar, and we're going with Tuna Bay Resort. So they're a mid-range resort and we've got the full package. So that includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and it also has two snorkeling trips as well. So we're going to have a really good time and I'm really looking forward to it. made it to the island. It was around a 45 minute boat ride, very smooth ride and on arrival we got some welcome drinks so I think these are some mango juices which are really nice. Everything's been really well organised so far which I've really appreciated. They had allocated tables for us just to fill in our gear. We've got our itinerary for the next couple of days. Uh, we just had to fill out our details and we're going to get lunch served to us very shortly. And I was also really impressed with the correspondence before we arrived here at the, the island. We sent a number of emails and they were all promptly answered. There are two islands for the Pahentian Islands. The big island, which is what I'm on right now, and then the small island. Now the big island is more catered to families, it's a little quieter. There's still a lot of people on it, but it's really not as loud. There's probably not as much nightlife. However, on the little island, especially around Long Beach, you'll get a lot of accommodation options, a lot of nightlife, and it's typically more seen for the backpacker crowd. So if you're looking for the best beach on the Pahentian Islands, my personal favorite is the Pahentian Island Resort Beach. So it's this really big, beautiful beach. It's all sandy. Uh, it's cordoned off so you don't have to fight boats. And we also went snorkeling there and found turtles, so that's a really cool bonus as well. Now, other people tend to like the long beach on the small island. Now, what that's got going for it is that it's quite shallow. You can go snorkeling there as well. And there are also bars that dot the shoreline. So if you like that sort of scene, a bit more lively scene, then that's the beach for you. In our package are meals and so that's breakfast lunch and dinner as well as a snack in the afternoon now we've got our first meal which is um, soup I think it might be a pea soup and a large bit of chicken as well as wedges and salad so this looks really beautiful comes with a fruit drink as well so I'm really looking forward to the food here all of the food here apart from breakfast is a set menu and I believe the breakfast is a buffet so I think we're going to be very well fed here. So here we are on the Tuna Bay Resort Beach. It's a really lovely beach. It's relatively private. There aren't as many people on this part of the island, so you feel like you've got a lot of space here. What I really love about this beach in particular is that you can just go straight off the beach and you're onto a reef straight away. It's really cool. So make sure you bring your snorkel. And there's also this pontoon that you can jump off as well, swim out to and jump off. That's, that's pretty cool as well. But how beautiful does this area look? It's magical. About a 20 minute walk away from the Tuna Bay Resort is the Perhitian Island Resort and Private Beach. So this is it here. It looks pretty amazing. It's arguably the best beach on the Perhentian Islands. So it just looks glorious, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, there's a decent amount of area for swimming. It's all cordoned off, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just really, really pretty. So I was tossing up 
whether to go to the Tuna Bay Resort or actually the, the PIR here, the Perihitian Island Resort. However, lately the reviews for the Perihitian Island Resort weren't as good, weren't as strong. So the rooms are quite dated. There were a few complaints against the food. So we opted with the Tuna Bay Resort and <laughs> we opted with the Tuna Bay Resort. And I must admit, I'm really happy. Uh, we've got the best of both worlds. You can still use the beach, even though it's part of the resort. It's, it's not a private beach per se. Anyone can use it. So yeah, we're happy with our decision. We're at the beach in front of Perantian Island Resort and it is a beautiful bay. I really love the colour of the water. I love all the palm trees and the white sand. It's just a really gorgeous area. What I love about the Perantian Island Resort Beach is how sandy it is. So uh, you can go swimming without worrying about stepping on any coral. There are other beaches around the island that have coral reefs just offshore, which is great if you want to snorkel, but if you just want to laze around in the water, then this beach here is definitely the best option for you. We've now been to three islands on the east coast of Malaysia, Timon Island, Redang Island, and now Pahentian Island, the big one, Basar. So we have noticed a difference in the clientele across the different islands. So Timon's more the uh, Singapore weekend getaway as well as local getaway. Redang Island seem to be majority locals and Pahentian Island on the other hand seems to be almost completely foreigners, uh, particularly Europeans. So not quite sure why, but if you know, please let us know in the comments and let us know what you think. Are we pretty accurate with our observations? Uh, we'd be really interested to know. We're on our first snorkeling tour in Perentian Island and I really like how close everything is to our accommodation. So we only have to go a little way in the boat and then we get to our next snorkeling location. Everything's really close which maximizes your snorkeling time. What I'm finding really cool about the Perentian Islands is that you can just snorkel straight off the beach. One indulgence that I'm absolutely loving here at Tuna Bay Resort is our afternoon tea break. So it's included in the full package. So you get a drink, tea or coffee, we've opted for the ice coffee. And then you also get a range of cakes. So we've got donuts today and I'm really, really excited. I love donuts. We've just wandered south of the Tuna Bay Resort and we've come across all these beautiful, pretty much deserted beaches. So uh, right here is an enclosed area that you can do some snorkeling. Uh, we've got the beach pretty much to ourselves. This is fantastic. So, you know, if a couple of dozen people on a beach at Tuna Bay is a bit too much for you, then you can come here and have the beach all pretty much to yourself. Breakfast is served and it's a delicious buffet spread including fruit, cereals, hot food and much more. So it goes from 7 till 10 and it's a great start to the day.
Out of all the East Coast Malaysian islands, you'll find that Pahentian Island has the most tourist infrastructure. So it'll have the most number of hotels, the most number of tour operators, the most number of dining options as well. So that's all quite handy, especially because some of the other islands have hotels where the only option for dining is at the hotel. So you're pretty much stuck at the hotel for everything. That's not the case here on the Pahentian Islands. So another good thing is because there are a lot of tourist operators, once you're on the island, you can get pretty decent rates for activities such as snorkeling. So um, the cheapest snorkeling activity that I saw was 30 ringgit, for example. So that's, that's pretty reasonable. It's our last night at Tuna Bay Island Resort and we have this beautiful barbecue spread. So we are really being treated well here and there's been some delicious foods. So I'm gonna miss these meals. Okay, it's time for the room tour. Now, our accommodation at Tuna Bay Resort is a little bit more basic, a little bit more pared down than what we've had at other resorts on other islands, but it has everything that you need. So you've got your double bed, you've got some storage space here. What I do like is that they give you towels uh, for the shower, but then they also give you beach towels as well each day. So that's, that's really handy. Uh, they do clean your room each day if you want that. The air conditioning works, which is really good. And there's also a fan. Jay finds that yeah, she gets either too hot or too cold with an air conditioner. So a fan just gives, keeps the temperature a bit more even and the airflow quite good. So there's hot water here. One thing that I will say that isn't the best here at Tuna Bay Resort is that the soundproofing for the walls isn't fantastic. So the huts are right stacked right on top of each other and you can hear what's going on next door. We've got uh, a door that goes to an adjoining room. So I don't know whether you can hear that. <laughs> There's music from next door. It's a bit more basic accommodation, but still does the job. And uh, the room itself, it's a little bit small, but it's manageable. We go outside and we've got our own little balcony with some chairs. I also like that they've got a rack to dry your clothes as well, because each day you will get wet clothes if you're going swimming. Another thing that I really like is that they have this tap here so you can just dry off or you, so you can get all the sand off your feet. That's really handy. And now I might just take you to the beach. Even though we're not at the beach per se, we're back a couple of rows. It's really not that far to, to get to the beach. So just take you along here. So it's a fair bit cheaper as well, just being uh, away from the beach so, oh. and here we go so it's only like 20 30 meters and you get all of this pretty awesome For our final verdict so let's go through by category so accommodation Jay what did you think about the accommodation the accommodation was all right it was a little bit dated there were a few things that could have been fixed up there were um, the ceiling looked like it was falling down a little bit there were cracks in the wall and that sort of thing but in saying that, it was reasonably comfortable, it was spacious enough. Um, there was hot water in the shower most of the time. The shower pressure was okay most of the time. Um, there's a balcony area. And what I really liked is that they had plenty of space for hanging up your washing when you know your swimmers get wet and that sort of thing. So that was good. Uh, so I, I'd say it's average. I'd give it three out of five. Yeah, three buckets out of five. Another thing to keep in mind, the Wi-Fi is only available in the reception uh, dining hall area. You won't be able to get Wi-Fi from your room. But that's pretty much the same for the majority of hotels that you'll find on the Pahentian Islands. So I guess that doesn't put Tuna Bay Resort at a disadvantage. So next there's food. Now, I really, really like the food here. It was really, really delicious. There was good variety and there were set menus for lunch and dinner, 
which we were fine with. Like well, we don't have any dietary requirements, so there were no issues with us. So I'm not sure what the story would be if you did have dietary requirements. You would obviously need to tell them beforehand, but I I'd like to think that they'd be able to serve you in the right way. Yeah, and we were really well fed. So the dinner in particular is like a massive like a seven course banquet or something like that. So they just keep bringing out food and plates and plates of food. Um, and yeah, you fed regular times throughout the day so you've got your three meals there's also a snack in there as well an afternoon tea we'd happily give the food five buckets out of five next we've got activities so the first thing that i really loved about tuna bay resort is that you've got a beach uh, right in front of you it's not too busy or crowded there's plenty of deck chairs for you to claim and uh, you just need to go into the water and you're right onto the reef straight away. That's very cool. Yeah, and the reef has a lot of different types of fish. It's a really nice reef and we saw turtles this morning, so that was really cool. Yeah, so in addition to just snorkeling off the reef, they have snorkel activities that were really good. So the snorkeling goes for about two hours and they take you to three different locations throughout the islands uh, each time. So I'd, I'd say that was really good as well. Yeah. So the locations aren't very far apart, so that really maximises your snorkeling time, which is great. The downside of that is that you could really walk, so whether or not you just want to bring your own snorkels rather than pay for the tour, generally two out of the three, that you, you could walk there yourself. And there are also plenty of other activities like island hopping, fishing, and, and also diving, if you want to try those out instead. So overall, what do we give activities. You can't go past all the sea life that we saw here. We saw turtles, we saw stingrays, we saw sharks, lots of fish. So I'd say for activities, I'd probably give it four and a half buckets out of five. I think I have seen better reefs out there, but these were really, really good. Next we've got services. Yeah, so the services, the staff were quite friendly without being over the top friendly. I'd say it was a little bit hit and miss. Some were really nice and really accommodating. Others were maybe not going out of their way to help you too much. Overall, we found it to be pretty good. And then there was the cleaning. There were a few issues that we had with the cleaning, like they take our green towels, our beach towels each day and not replace them. So we had to keep asking for that. So that was a little bit frustrating. Overall, it was pretty good. Yeah, well, what I did like was that uh, everything seemed to be really well organized. So the activities were well organized. Us getting dinner uh, was well organized. We had a set table every night and uh, also getting to and from the island was really well organized as well. And communication via email. So all top marks for that. So I think overall, we give them four buckets out of five for service. The so next we have value. So I reckon Tuna Bay Resort offers good value for money. So we got the deluxe package and that was 1971 ringgit or a uh, bit over 600 ringgit per night. So that included all our meals, it included uh, two snorkeling trips, it included our transfers to and from the island. So it was, it was pretty complete. Now bear in mind, when you're coming to the Perhentian Islands, you will be paying a lot more than most accommodation on the mainland. So it's just the ticket to admission, really. Yeah, so it is a premium destination, and so you're gonna be paying premium prices for that. Yeah, so in comparison to a couple of the other hotels on the island, there are more luxury, self-styled luxury hotels like the Alunan Hotel, the Mimpi and the Boo Boo Villas. They are much more expensive. However, I don't think there's a really good trade-off for value, uh, a price value trade-off for those properties. So I think Tuna Bay Resort does strike a really good balance. With that in mind, we give Tuna Bay Resort four buckets out of five for value. So wrapping that all together, what do we think about the Tuna Bay Resort for Hentian Island? So overall, we really liked it. We thought it was great value for money. It was a, it's a really beautiful location. And the one thing that would really lift it to the next level is just upgrading the accommodation. So we give it four buckets out of five. We hope you enjoyed our Malaysia travel vlog on Tuna Bay Resort, Perantian Island. If you did, please give it a like and leave us a comment. We've got plenty more Malaysia videos just like this, so if you want content like this, make sure you subscribe and click that notification button. We are Bucketless Travelers. See you next time.